hey there scorpios and welcome back for another june tastic love reading yeah i say it's all about the love for the scorpios and even about that money honey yeah 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 so check it out scorpio this is another general love reading or collective scorpios reading it's not going to be for everybody it's only take a part that fits and disregard the rest. Check it out, Scorpio, your overall energy. I haven't seen this for you. Plane, is there travel here? Someone traveling, things are uh, elevating. Cause look, your next card here is Phoenix. Something is rising, something is growing. Expansion, huh? Rising out of the, uh, out of the ashes. What, what, something that you thought was lost, it's gonna, you're gonna find it. Cause this is rising, at, look. Let's see for Scorpios. You got plain. I hope you guys are doing amazing, Scorpios. Today is a beautiful day. Ashe is Scorpios. Ashe, grand rising to you, beautiful, amazing Scorpios. I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing, Scorpios. I hope you are manifesting, co creating, taking charge. Oof. Taking charge and taking control of your destiny, Scorpios. Because this is your life. You're here. You might as well enjoy some of it, huh? Because stressing don't make it better. It makes it worse, yeah. Stressing don't make it better. It makes it worse, yeah. Stressing don't make it better. It makes it worse, yeah. Stressing don't make it better. It makes it worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you might as well not stress. You might as well not stress, but em embrace the success <laughs> of life. <laughs> so you have plain. It says a journey is indicated either physically, metaphorically, your life will become more full. 26, that's a 10. It's a wrap. Endings, new beginnings, longevity, standing the test of time. Now, you remember this is a fortune card. Check out your general reading to your collective reading on uh, some type of abundance. That was the overall energy for the collective is the abundance. Now, you Scorpios, you have plain. Now, in your relationships, it says representing power and prosperity in, look, I need my one, in all areas of your Scorpio life. The Phoenix, oh, I'm reading, um, I'm doing Phoenix, my bad. I was going to say plain, you got all that for plain? No, but you got Phoenix is the next card here, but let's read plain because that's your overall energy. Travel is indicated here. You could be traveling. So it says in your personal career, it says um, travel will bring love for singles and chance meetings will recite feelings that you may not have experienced for a long time. Try different holiday destinations and be inspired. Cruisers are very auspicious for meeting that special someone. Family travel goes particularly well and is filled with fun and laughter. Great friends and lifelong happy memories are being made. Ooh, la 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 la, ooh. So you're gonna have to, or you're gonna find love on a highway, yeah. Ooh, Scorpio, wow. And I'm not gonna read the money in the career because this is about love. It's talking to you single, Scorpio. Now, for some of you guys who may not feel single, you may feel like you're in a situationship or it's complicated. You single, okay? <laughs> oh, I know I was gonna tell y'all, and I'm gonna tell my other uh, Scorpio channel. I'm gonna tell my Scorpio channel because you know this is a collective channel. Uh, we just happen to be doing Scorpios reading, even though you dominate over here too. It is what it is. But for my members 
uh, on my brown eyes intuitions, I did a members reading and I also did a, uh, a free, uh, some, I did a drawing. Congratulations once again to Angela, just in case if you're over here too, but she won a free 30 minute reading. But what the reading was, because I made them take a poll and what the Scorpios are looking for is new love. OK, it's new love. So I felt like I would have to say this publicly to the cross watchers and to the ex. It's like y'all done did it now because Scorpios are not checking for y'all. It's like Scorpios are requiring new love. I'm talking about it was over 50, 56 percent. It's over half are, are asking for new love. So I feel like cross watcher X. I feel like if y'all had any ideas or notions of getting back with Scorpio, they mind ain't on y'all. And I ain't trying to look. I'm just saying that that's what Scorpio on. Scorpio's on new love. All right, cross watch your eggs. Now, I ain't going to never say it's too late because it's never too late for love. You can always have love, but it takes two. So for the collective of Scorpios, I feel like. They're done. They're done with it. They're not going back and forth with y'all. They're not going to hang around and see what happens. They're not going to uh, check and see if you ate your, 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 your veggies. They're not going to check and see how you're doing. I feel like they're not even going to waste their energy on the past. So for some of you Scorpios, you could feel that same way. But I know that that's what's dominating. Scorpios are like, oh, I'm tired of the ex. Because if you talk about the ex, because look, as in any situation, especially if you don't, you, you're taking a chance. If you've already worked it out, you've already tried it. You know, if, if you didn't get the good results, you're not going to be in a hurry to try it again, are you? I feel like that's what Scorpios are at. They're in search of new love. Okay. <laughs> So it may be over for y'all cross watch your ex because they probably ain't checking for y'all no more because they just tired of it. And then they're traveling. It's a good time for them to run into new people, too, especially being that this is the festive holiday time of the season here. Um, you know, Father's Day, Mother's Day pass. Uh, you're going to have the Fourth of July Independence Day and you're going to have family reunions. Children are out of school. People are, you know, it's like the summer for certain parts, most of the world and People are going to have the opportunity to meet new people. So now it is a general. Now, all of y'all may not feel like y'all want new love, but I'm telling y'all, even in your new love reading, you have multiple offers. I'm talking about it's like it's like it's like the sky is just raining new love for Scorpios. See, and I saw this in there, too. You got uh, the attention of a lot of people. It ain't just one little water. <laughs> it's a village. <laughs> they can't keep their eyes out for you. Could be an Aries. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Travel. You see that travel here. Somebody say, you know what? I think I'm going to go that way. Wow, Scorpio. This looks like a romantic time for you. It's magic. It's in the air. I see somebody got on their Daisy Duke shorts. They got they got their toes all out, painted all pretty and everything. I'm talking about somebody wearing shapewear. Everything is just looking so beautiful and so on point. It's like, how could you not attract somebody to you? You could have options at this time, but I feel like you're just going to make sure the right option is for you. Somebody may be kind of crushing on you. Curious about you could be the beginning stages. You could be you could have all types of people. I see somebody on a cruise ship. Singles cruise ship. Oh my gosh. Dating app. Somebody finna hear up and post a picture on a dating app and you're gonna get <laughs> you're gonna get instant results. <laughs> all right, spirit, what's going on for Scorpios in this plain energy? What travel? Three of cups. There it is. Celebration, having fun, enjoying yourself. Some of you guys are going on a, a, a all girls vacation or you and your partners, you and your homies, you and your home girls. Y'all going ooh, look, they go to 10 of cups. So you may actually make a, a love connection while you're out vacationing, while you're out traveling. Look, you could just be driving and, and traveling to the store. OK, <laughs> what's going on for Scorpios, two of pentacles? For some of you guys, you may try to play hard to get. 
I feel like you're going to try to play hard to get if somebody's coming in from your past. Oop, there go that queen of cups. There go judgment underneath the bottom with the moon and the tower Scorpios. Ooh, la, la, la. There go the magician. Somebody feel left out of your life. I don't know why. Ten of Pentacles, the devil, the devil. Six of Pentacles in reverse and the death card. Oof. Ooh, whatever. That ain't got nothing to do with Scorpio. That's your problem, ain't it? You got the Fool. You got Aries. You got Libra. Those are your two majors. You got Justice and the Fool. You have the Knight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Queen of the Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have Justice, the Page of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Uh, the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, the Fool, Aries. And Mama used to say, take your time, young man. And Mama used to say, don't you rush to get old. And Mama used to say, thinking in your stride. And Mama used to say, hey, 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 hey. Mama used to say, woo! <laughs> I don't know. I just felt it. I guess you can take your time, Scorpio. Just take your time. Because like I, just, I keep thinking about that song by Jasmine Sutherland. I don't know if she, what, what, how does it go? Oh, because forever, because forever doesn't always last. What's because forever? And I'm trying so hard in it. The part when she goes back to even though you're in love with this person, you be wanting to reach out and call them so bad because you're led by your emotions. But when you think about, God dang it, that's the only thing that snap you back to reality is when you think about the reason why you're not with that person to begin with. Because that's a red flag right there, isn't it? If you're not with this person, you don't supposed to chase after them if they're the ones that screwed up. I feel like you may be trying to balance things out. You could be trying to keep it all together. I feel like this is what spirit is telling you. It's time for you to sew back into yourself and build yourself back up. You may have to step outside of your comfort zone and go outside of your, your original beliefs in order to get back. And see, that's what I'm saying here. See, it's almost like. I was finna say I can understand why a person here who was in a heterosexual relationship goes to the other side, but they have problems too. But it's almost like somebody dating differently. It's like if you different, if you've been dating brothers, you some of these some of these sisters are like I'm tired of y'all. <laughs> I'm finna cross over here because they know how to treat their woman, but you everybody doing the same thing now. Everybody is going through the same things. So it's almost like since everybody is doing the same thing, then you might as well be creative and be original, even if it represents you uh, holding back a little, taking your time, not feeling like you're in a rush. Because once again, their spirit compelling you to create your community so that you can have your own personal outlet. When you have something productive that's going to occupy your time in some type of way as a single person, you're not thirsty. You're not going to be in a hurry to, you know, you be like, well, at least it be sitting at home. Somebody give you an offer or come in and try to want to take you out. You may go against your better judgment because you are alone. But if you already have a community here, then you already have your life. You have to already be loving yourself, Scorpios. And I know sometimes it's hard. Sometimes people are embarrassed, but I get a lot of attention when I go out alone. Do I prefer to go out alone? No, but it's just what it is. It's a reality. <laughs> because if you wait to be happy, you're going to miss out on so much. Because when you do force yourself to go on and do your thing, and I'm not saying everybody is like that. I'm just telling you what I'm feeling. Because some of y'all, you're, you're doing very good as a single person here. Look, look at all of the opportunities that you're going to meet while you're out. So you could be having your eye on multiple people and you're just ready. You're optimistic. You're ready to go forward. Now, I feel like somebody's coming your way, but you need to make sure you're good. But I feel like you're going to have multiple options. 
multiple options in love that could actually absolutely give you what you've been desiring in a connection that you're happily ever after. And then you got the Phoenix rise and I have to read a little bit of it because it's not Phoenix rise and shout out to Phoenix rise. And she's one of my members and my moderators on my other channel. But I think about that every time I see that Phoenix, I think about Phoenix, right? It says be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. See, so it's like spirit is telling you, look, don't get stuck in that energy. Get, get prepared to get out of whatever you came out of. And you know, Scorpio is always healing from something, honey. That's that, that's that transformation. You remember, I thought that this was plain, but it's Phoenix. This is what it says in your personal relationship. It says, if you are locked in the past, hoping for reconciliation. No, that's proposal. My bad. Some of y'all probably is. Phoenix. It says, representing power and prosperity in all areas of your life. The Phoenix is a symbol of freedom to do what you have always wanted to do. You, Scorpio, will have an increased vision for your long-term goals. Get ready for the new positive you to emerge brilliantly. Shine your M and F and light, Scorpios. It says, look for some meaning in your relationships. Don't waste your time, God dang it, on those that don't have a future. Now, only you know who, who, who should go or stay. Can't no tarot reader tell you that. You make them get confirmation. But now, stop trying to give your, your power away. Especially as a Scorpio, you know you are highly intuitive. And if you're not trusting what you see, then it's, t start to, it's time to start nurturing the inner man so that when you know what you see, you're going to know it is what it is. It says, look for meanings in your relationship. Don't waste your time, Scorpio, for those that don't have a Scorpio future. There will be a psychic connection with new friends and lovers. That a new energy is, Scorpio. See, I told you Scorpios was looking for something new. And Spirit is telling you that you got new coming in. But don't waste your time with that old. You can't take the old in with the new. You better sit that old out on the curb and let the city pick it up. <laughs> existing relationships will grow stronger or get left behind as you embrace a fresh chapter in your life. This card also favors a positive relationship union comparing, compromising, no, excuse me, comprising very yin and yang commitments and highlights the birth of a child. That's the, uh, masculine and feminine that's the divine masculine the divine feminine energy is coming in with that plain energy this plain energy is taking you where you need to get this Ooh -wee. for some of y'all this is gonna lead to a marriage Ooh, it could be for some of y'all it could be with a cancer it could be with a Gemini or another water sign. Look, they got them lovers cards again. There they go. Ooh, but you got that snake though. That snake is in the reverse though. Ooh, you knew it was going to get dogged in your Scorpio. So let, let's continue. Let's clarify here. So we got the Queen of Cups, the Three of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the, uh, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So we told you everybody here. So let's clarify. So it seems like everybody is coming in to sue, so will you. But I feel like you're being better control if you're not led by your emotions. Get your feelings out of this. It's time for you to go out there and live your life. And you got, so you got, a, you got a younger water sign coming in to date you. They're a lot of fun. They're gonna, they're gonna like a lot of your attention. I feel like this is a hopeless romantic. Now they could be coming in here all freaking talk, cause after all, they is a knights. You know how it is when it's fresh and it's new. Everything is picture perfect. Then everybody crosses the T and, and, and dots the I. There's everything is perfect in the beginning until you start digging deeper and time go on. You're going to find out the truth. So I feel like dating and being casual in friendships is going to take you a long way. Because when you start giving it time, you're going to be like, ooh, I'm happy I didn't do this. Ooh, I'm happy I didn't decide to do this with you. Ooh, because it would have been, you know. So let's see for Scorpios that's traveling towards victory, success, abundance. Happily ever after here, the will of fortune, a page of swords, the will of fortune. Why is a page of swords here for Scorpios? Clarify the page of swords. 
What is the message for this page of swords here? Is somebody got their eye on you? Is someone checking you out? Is somebody trying to figure out who you is? Or is this you doing your diligent research about the people that you get involved with? See, something is being hidden from somebody. There go the moon. Maybe, maybe spirit is not going to show you everything to go to just for some of y'all. You could have a Libra checking you out or a cancer here or Pisces. You got the justice card already on the table. Libra, Aries. Why is a page of swords here? You could be checking them out secretly or somebody is secretly checking you out. <sighs> queen of Cups. Either they watching that Queen of Cups. Or the Queen of Cups is watching them. Are you watching them, Scorpios? I hope not. You could, you could have your eye on somebody, but I feel like somebody's checking you out secretly. See? Because they go to Three of Cups. See? So you could be, some of you guys could be getting to know somebody because it is new. The page is somebody here who is getting to know you. Uh, with the Moon card, I, I feel like... There, I feel like you're coming off as mysterious to people now, Scorpios, because maybe you are, 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 are not guarding your emotions, but you are handling them differently. So for some of you guys, you may actually go out there and live your life and date people. But I feel like this is somebody trying to get to know you. They're curious about you. Somebody may be wondering, are you dating? Would you go out with them if they asked you? Could be somebody from your past. Could be somebody new. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. There go that offer coming in. See? Somebody looking at you like, I wonder what she say. Yeah, I wonder what Scorpio say. Yeah, if I ask them if they hungry. Some type of invitation out here. Somebody's trying to build the courage to ask you out on a date, Scorpios. Why is the Seven of Cups showing up for Scorpios? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Clarify this Seven of Cups. This is illusions. This is fantasies. This is... Um, options this is you know this is fulfillment this you, you don't have to be ever be bored but at the same time see six of wands i feel like you're going to get a lot of attention here scorpio six of wands you may be getting gathering uh, a lot of people may be curious about you you may be coming off as loving as passionate Ooh, somebody seeing you as something long term somebody see you as somebody who is abundant Somebody could be looking at you like they feel like they could actually go the distance with you. And then somebody could be looking at you like you got that paper here, Scorpios. Or somebody looking at you like, you know what, I'm going to just give Scorpio the keys to the vault. Somebody trying to figure out, can they have it all with you? Ooh, and there go the nine of cups. I feel like this is what you're saying. You want it all. I feel like somebody, ooh, they go the nine of pentacles. Wow, Scorpios. Don't you know that the world is your oyster right now? It's all about what you say, because you look like you are, are, are a good catch, even as somebody that's loving. I'm telling you, most of these men, they, they've, been so met, <laughs> they've been so done wrong that when they see an independent person here, somebody sees you like somebody they could actually go the distance with. You're coming off as somebody here who is very, very happy-go-lucky, as independent, somebody here who is a, a loving it's almost like somebody's looking at you like you're too good to be true. It's almost like you got to have somebody. Nine of Pentacles. What's up with this two of Pentacles? Could be choices and decisions. You could be extremely busy here. Mm. Two of Cups. You may have multiple people coming in here. It's going to be so going to be very intense. The food card again. Mm. So someone may be back and forth with you. You may be going back and forth with a soulmate. But they go to judgment card. But somebody's been going back and forth over in their head about you or this is something you have been doing. See there? No wonder. The Empress. See, oh my God, somebody's been going back and forth in their head about you. And I feel like it doesn't matter if they go back and forth, they're going to keep on coming up with the same thing, Scorpio. It's you. You're a hard act to follow. Love to, I'm telling you, these men, they've been so abused, they're looking for love now. 
They looking for somebody here who is is uh, reciprocated because they're being taken advantage of. I'm telling you, <laughs> these men are being taken for rides here. I'm talking about it, it's it's unprecedented. Okay. <laughs> It kind of make you feel bad for the fellas. You you feel me, Scorpio? Because it's like, dang, you know, some of these men have been been done wrong. These women just got scandalous. So now if they can find somebody here who can they can bring balance, uh, harmony, love. Then that's what I feel like somebody is looking for now, because they realize people are only out for what they can get. This is somebody that don't want nobody to approach them. They want to make up their mind. They want to take the time to get to know you. Uh, either they're asking someone about you, but it's, it's something about you is mysterious, but it's the same time somebody know that you, you're good grades, like something you're pure. You're abundant. You, you, see, you are abundant. See, this is so crazy. See, and then go to King of Cups. See. I feel like you already got somebody here who's in love with you or somebody here who's looking to love and spoil somebody. Somebody can't wait to buy their wife a Mercedes. God dang it. <laughs> they say you look good in that Mercedes. They say you look good in that BMW or that Lexus truck or that Infinity Jeep or what? This is, this is luxury. You got the Ten of Pentacles. What they they wagon near, god dang it. This this is this this is some high clad this is this is big body. <laughs> okay. This big body energy. Look, it's big body energy, but it's big body on rims energy. You would think that it would just drive around with the factory wheels, because they're they're good, but now they threw in some some type of rims on here. This is what somebody sees you as. They want to see their wife or their spouse. Uh, this is one of those situations, Scorpios, where the man is going to be more in love with the woman. That's what I see. This is somebody here who you could have started off as friends with. Or this is somebody new. You're going to start off dating this person. And they're gonna they're gonna win. You're gonna fall in love with this one, Scorpio. You got the Queen of Cups here twice. What's up with the fool for Scorpios? Clarify the fool. Could be an Aries. Wow, Scorpio. This is a type of person to get up every Saturday morning, go wash his his woman, his wife, car, fill the tank up, make sure everything is good, type of energy. And all you gotta do in it, mommy, is just get in there and look good. It's, it, look, I'm talking to the Scorpios who feel what I'm talking about, god dang it. I'm talking about they're going to automatically do this. This is the type of person to take care of all of your things. You're not going to break no finger. This is the type of person that's going to treat you to spa day regularly. They may even give you a freaking card. and like, look, look, now, now, now this your weekly, this, this, your, <laughs> this your monthly allowance. <laughs> this your monthly allowance. <laughs> but you're showing up as a nine of pentacles, so you good, good, see? Don't you know that people are more attracted to you, Scorpio, when you have your own? And I ain't saying you got to have everything, just have your own. It makes them want to do more for you. And this is why I feel like they want to do more for you. The King of Cups is already in love. Could be somebody you already know. Could be an Aries. Could be another water sign. A Pisces, a Libra. Got a lot of water in here. Four swords. Four swords pulling back. This could be you pulling back. You could be you you could be balancing yourself, look saying, look here, now I ain't gonna be too quick to like I said, it's what I feel like. You're not gonna be too quick to jump out there and get nothing out there next time. See, cause y'all listen to y'all intuition. Three of Pentacles, I feel like you're not going to be so quick to allow people in your energy because now you're tapping in spiritually. There go justice in the high priestess. There it is again. You only want reciprocation. Your, your, your intuition is guiding you, Scorpios. Everybody ain't going to be, a, everybody, they're going to feel like you playing hard to get, but now you're just dealing, we're dealing with a sensible Scorpio now. Somebody here who has learned some lessons. Knight of Cups for Scorpios. What's up with this Knight of Cups? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We got a jumper. Ooh, Knight of Cups, Six of Cups. See, ooh. 
They coming back in, boo boo. Or it could just be an intense lesson, a past life relationship. You could meet this person from your childhood. It could be somebody that you you may travel back home and, and meet your childhood crush. I'm talking about in, in elementary school, like the fifth and sixth and seventh grade puppy love type of energy. And now they all grown now, but they single. Mm. Knight of Cups, Six of Cups for somebody. Could be somebody from your childhood. Could be somebody from your past as well. Four of Pentacles. Ooh, somebody still holding on to you, child. Ooh. They say, well, just because you left me don't mean I, I don't want you. And this could be somebody from your childhood or from your past saying, look at, ooh, they ain't let go of you yet. There they go, mommy. They go, daddy. The Emperor, ooh, Aries, see, you got the Empress. <laughs> Your Emperor is in love because you got the Empress with the King of Cups. Look, this is what there, somebody is realizing, Scorpios. Look at somebody here, what I say, somebody was in and out. Somebody, somebody couldn't make up their mind. Somebody was in denial. Someone here was trying to figure out, is this real? I don't know, is this some weird shit? See, Two of Pentacles. Well, what's the problem? This guy dang connection. Two of cups. Why? Because someone here finally needs to face the reality and, and make a judgment call and look at things for what they really are. About who? That empress, a.k.a. a Scorpios. Why? Ace of Swords, truth, clarity about what? How they really feel about you, the king of cups. See? Y'all got somebody in love with y'all. Like I said, this could be somebody here who you're not with anymore. This could be somebody new, but they coming in. It's almost like y'all souls have already met up before your physical life has met up if they're new. And if they from your past, they y'all already connected, Scorpio. Y'all, even if you separated from this person, y'all still like this. All right, three of cups. You got the justice, three of cups, queen of cups, ten of cups. Like I say, this reading is all about love because there's so much of it here. It's almost like rising from the ashes. Remember you have Phoenix car. It's like something that you thought was over with that could not get better. It may be surprising you. Three of cups for Scorpios. What's up with this three of cups? I keep on saying I'm going to go like, look, the wheel of fortune. When love comes, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got a chance to see. Um... Shaka Khan on the NPR, the tiny desk. Man, I tell you, Shaka Khan looks so good, man. She looks good. Shout out to Shaka Khan. She is beautiful. Shaka Khan, Shaka Khan, it's all I want to do. Shaka, uh, 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 Shaka, a Shaka, a Shaka. Man, what was that part she said? Because it was just one, I think it was just a sentence or just a couple of words. What is it? What was that song she sung? It's to the, it's, what is that freaking song? Hold on, y'all, it's going to bother me. Let me figure it out. Hold on. Never mind. It's wasting my time. I got other things to do. But yeah, she said something. It just stayed on my mind because it's almost like accidentally falling in love. Or somebody realized, or somebody looked up or woke up and they was in love. It's almost like something that they did not see coming. They were not expecting this. And they've been trying to shake it off of them ever since with that two of pentacles. Somebody been trying to shake this feeling for a very long time. Look, two of cups, the judgment, the empress, ace of swords, king of cups. They've been trying to shake that feeling off for a very long time that they are in love. Someone could not believe that they done got caught. Mm. Now here they are, Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, someone from your past, Four of Pentacles, they still holding on. The Emperor, they go to the Emperor, King of Cups, Queen of Cups, you got the Queen of Cups twice. With the Three of Cups, could be somebody from your past really missing you. You got the Three of Cups, the Will of Fortune, something is changing, something has changed somebody's feelings. 
or someone, someone has changed somebody's perception or focus or mindset about you. Maybe you have. Somebody, look, I see communication. Somebody's going to get some communication here. I keep on hearing the truth. The truth is finally about to come out, Scorpios. Are you ready? Look, that go to Hierophant. Mm. Three of Cups, the Will of Fortune, the Hierophant, the Seven of Pentacles, something that somebody may have been waiting for, waiting on things to turn around. Somebody may have been playing it safe, waiting on things to turn around, waiting on you to come back or waiting on something to happen. But I feel like it's going to make you happy because you do have the Three of Cups here. So what's up with this Queen of Cups for Scorpios? I feel like things are in your favor. The time and it's for you. It is your good time. It is your time. You got justice here twice. Look, the Queen of Cups. I think this is the star card here. Aquarius energy. Your wish is coming true. Maybe you're focusing on healing. Maybe that's what you need to be focusing on. Maybe somebody wants to come in and heal things between the two of you. <clears throat> because <coughs> what they once did not want to accept. I feel like this is somebody here who has just, just never been really sure about how you feel about them. I feel like somebody's almost like somebody. <laughs> you know, they love me not love me and love me not somebody may have been pulling roses petals saying Scorpio loves me Scorpio loves me not I feel like this person sometimes they feel like you love them and sometimes they may they th thoughts may be getting the best of them they go to lover's car could be a Gemini looking they go to four ones see they go to freaking ace of cups god dang Scorpio see this is a match made. This, this is a beautiful connection. Why is justice here? Libra energy. Mm. Twin flame, soulmate energy. Like I say, some of y'all want new love, but some of y'all, you're destined to be with your past person. Now, whether you do it or not, I see it here. You can choose what you want. You see, you, and it don't make you wrong because you want something new. It doesn't. That's your, this is your life. You have to do what's best for you. You have to do what's best for you. And I don't care how it seems like y'all are perfect. If you don't feel that in your heart and in your soul, then you have to do what's best for you. Because everybody else do it, don't they? All right, justice. Eight of swords. Stagnation, mental. Somebody, somebody may feel like they put you through a lot. And this and then this could be universe saying, all right, Scorpios, you, you went through a lot with this situation here. And this is coming back around They go to three of ones. See, see, somebody was avoiding this. Somebody noted. The, it's almost like somebody's like they put you through all of their mess. That's what they feel like. They put you through all of their mess. So they understand why you walked away. Somebody understand why you're not with them. But you got judgment here. Like I said, if, if people didn't recognize it then, they're going to recognize them when you're not there, when it's too late. Because see, now they're feeling the cold of this relationship. The relationship done grown cold because you're not there to nurture them anymore. Mm. Ten of Cups. That's just what it is. But they coming back, those Scorpios. Yeah, the soul may coming back. Ten of Cups. Mm. King of Swords. Now, what you doing here? Like I told you, they, they cold, but they miss a C and they go to food cart. That's what's going to make them uh, get out their comfort zone because they miss that comfort of what you brought them. And it seems like this person really is in love with you because you got the King of Cups up against the Empress. Five of Wands. I feel like this person feels like you're going to reject them, Scorpios. They feel like you're going to fight them. You're going to fight them if they come back. This person doesn't have the courage because I feel like they did a lot of mess. You may have lost confidence in this 
connection and in this person. And I feel like it's almost like somebody holding their head down, Scorpio. See? I see this person holding their head down because they did it, see? But at the same time, it, it can only not work if they don't do what they're supposed to do because the opportunities are here. It's up to y'all to take them, Scorpios. This could actually be something long term if you're willing to forgive. But like I say, it's up to you. You don't have to put up with this. You can move on with your life and wait for something better to come along. But that person from your past is coming back. <laughs> All right. This your reading. Please like, share and subscribe.